Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, in today's episode, we are just basically going to change, change the oil. Um, I've got the, um, the tank off, the air box off. I uh, changed the spark plugs already. Um, I've already uh, lubricated the chain and adjusted it. Um, so now we're just going to change the oil. It's a fairly simple process. Uh, you just need to remove the, uh, the skid plate on the bottom and you've got access to the uh, oil filter and the, uh, um, the drain plug. So uh, let's get on to it. Thanks. Okay, so oil filter is right here. I've got it on the center stand right now because it's just easier. We will let that come out. And uh, as far as the um, oil itself, the oil drain plug is right back here but you can see where the center stand is so what I'm going to end up doing is once this is done dribbling out of there I'm going to let this down put it up on the side stand so I can get my my, uh, my pan underneath it all right so we'll get the uh, I already got it loose there um, pull the drain plug out and pull the dipstick. And we will get that rubber O-ring off of there. There he goes. We got a new rubber O-ring right here. Get on there. Okay, new rubber O-ring is on. So, uh, yeah, I don't recommend doing this unless you're really, really comfortable with it. I do not have it strapped down and I got it leaned over on the side. Um, Safety-wise, not the smartest thing to do, but um, the straps that I have are too short to get me to the corners here. So I'm gonna have to get some new straps. They'll work from here to here, but they want to pull the bike backwards. And I don't want it going backwards. So as, as soon as this is done uh, draining, we'll get her back in and fill her back up. Oil filter. I'm using uh, Harley Davidson Sin 3, but I am going to put some in the filter first. Let that soak in there a little bit. And then screw him back on. Just want it finger tight. Clean up our mess. All right, so we're using Screaming Eagle Sin 3, Harley Davidson 2050. Um, I bought this off of the Harley Davidson website, they sell the whole oil change kit in one thing. It's a lot easier. Just order it. You get four quarts of oil, oil filter, and a uh, O-ring for the dip, for the uh, drain plug. So we'll pour this in there. Okay, so the oil has changed. I'm going to start putting the uh, skid plate and everything back on here. Trying to figure out what I want to do for 
these wires. When my other skid plate comes in, then I will do a short video on that. That's going to be a piece of cake, honestly. This one, my little rubber gasket here is all buggered up already. So that one I can't go super tight with. But good we'll let that oil settle for a little bit and then double check my levels and then top her off Let's try that again. we are on the center stand screw it in screw it out ah, side stand upright she's reading full hope you can see that hopefully you can Let's see if I can get the light down here a little bit but yeah, she's good. All right, so all that's left to do now is to uh, put on the heat deflector. And okay, so now that we've got our oil changed, um, I'm gonna move on to uh, uh, cleaning and lubricating the chain. Um, I've already made a previous video on that. I'm gonna link it here. Um, and uh, I'm also going to uh, uh, install a heat deflector uh, to the left side of the motor and uh, then move on to the rest of the uh, inspections and adjustments and, and lubrications and everything else that goes on. So stay tuned for those videos uh, to come up and uh, I appreciate you coming back and thanks for watching.